And I thought, cut that one out short, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, it's a, it's a great one. It's like really the next really paragraph, uh, Master Yao writes, if you understand the significance of what we have said above, you begin to then understand why many societies in the past arranged the marriage of young girls. If the first two or three sexual experiences of a young girl are bad ones, it sets her up for a life of misdirected sexual energy. In some indigenous societies, the parents arrange the first sexual encounters of both male and female children to ensure they are positive experiences. In most situations today, the energy of the male most young girls are having their first sex with is not a good energy at all. It does not leave a good imprint. Thus, the master feminine faculty instills dysfunctional programs into her subconscious. Boom. Now, let, let's, let's, let's get back into that whole imprint thing and just to understand the process. See, first, to understand the type of woman that, uh, I mean, the type of man that a woman is going to want, even before she's penetrated. First, and this is true of men and women, at least heterosexual men and women, they will always want their opposite sex parent, maybe not on a conscious level. I mean, in, you know, in Western uh, clinical psychology, this is called, uh, you know, an Oedipus complex, a, a lecture complex, you know, all of that. But it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a natural thing. You know, when that child is growing up around the age of seven, but like a lot of little boys, they want to marry somebody like their mother. Mm -hmm. A lot of little girls, they want to marry somebody like their father. This is a this is a normal thing, and if their develop is, development is normal, you know, that uh, desire is transferred on to another male or female, as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Now, if the girl's father is a good, you know, good guy, mm -hmm. he does his thing, this is a good thing. If it's not, and this is the case of uh, a lot of... Uh, Households where the father is excluded from contact with the children or the father's a deadbeat or a knucklehead and the uh, Mother doesn't like provide another super role model a lot of women get messed up because one that initial step is not there for them now and even if the man is there in some cases and uh, The daughter has a less than ideal opinion of him that could still be a bad thing, or if he's bad, or if he's engaging in some uh, negative behavior himself. So that's one thing, you know. Now, when she, you know, she gets older, she starts hitting puberty, which is coming younger and younger for these girls. Um, you know, they have a strong desire to have sex. They have a strong desire. Like any any of my listeners who have daughters who, you know, who are either just becoming teenagers or have been teenagers are not in their heads right now. Any father knows this. Any father active in his uh, daughter's life Great. knows this. I don't care how good she is. There's, there's going to be some indication like she's trying to get fucked. She's trying to get fucked. You know, fucked. some strict fathers, you know, they already got the baseball bat out and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, might try to instill in her what to do, but that desire is still there. Now, you know, she might have enough discipline not to actually, you know, go out and get some knucklehead or something. But one thing about teenage girls, when they want to do something, they'll find a way to do it. Now. That's what I was talking about, too. I even told her that, too, like, you know, why I'm kind of messed with her when I did, too. Because, like, when she's ready, it's like. <clears throat> like I say, she's gonna she gonna do it. I mean, so I just figured, let me be the one to do that for her, but also you know take care of her like the way you know I I I, I do when I did. You know? so, the event that's most important is that first uh, the first two or three sexual encounters. Because she could have been with a dude who dodged route. I mean, I I, I couldn't I couldn't take that. You know, with her, I couldn't take that shit. So fuck that. Fuck that. Now, as Master Yao wrote uh, in the excerpt, if, you know, if that dude she deals with is like a composite of her father, who was a good guy, 
you know, the positive role models and the local champion. If that's a good guy, like good upstanding guy, he really cares for, has good intent for, that's a good thing. That's a that's a great thing, you know, if they have sex and especially if they're in a relationship and, you know, they you know, really care about each other, that's she has a positive experience. Mm. Unfortunately, and this is this isn't something that's speculation, uh, very few women had first few sexual experiences were positive. Mm. In fact, most women's first sexual experiences were either A negative or B, and this is even a combination of both, B, with uh, a less than evolved male. Like, I'm going to give you an example. There's a real issue out here that we're not talking about. Now, I know I talk about, you know, good black men all the time, and but across all races, across all groups, there's a group of men who may be in their 20s or even some even in their 30s who are having sex with these young 13, 14 year old girls. You know, I remember uh, years ago when I used to work at this gym and I was talking with a dude who was a teacher. And he was telling me how all these young girls had guys, you know, these girls like 14, 15, had guys picking them up in cars and these guys were in their mid 20s. In fact, I've known some young girls who said, you know, they like 16 and like, well, how's your boyfriend? He's 26. Like more than one occasion. Mm. Now, here's a problem with that. How positive can that man be if he praying, if he having sex with a child like that? Crazy. In this culture. Especially when you have more than enough women. So, already you have a problem right there. And then... Like, uh, this is another scenario, too. Like I said, a lot of these young girls, they trying to give it up. Like, uh, one thing a lot of young girls, if they have, like, friends or they near, like, some college, there's been a lot of young girls who probably had that cherry that cherry burst on, uh, like, in some college freshman or college seniors bedroom. A whole lot. That that's, that's, that's common. You know, you get these young girls, they put some stuff on. And, of course, that's, you know, that college kid, he just looking just to get his. They looking to get his, you know. And, you know, it's not positive. You and then on another level, a lot of times, you know, what the fuck? Some young guy going to know how to really have sex with a woman. That's true, too. He, he engaged in that friction sex. And I know in one of my videos I talked about friction sex. Friction sex is basically you just pump and pump and pump. <clears throat> You, you just try and bust a nut. You, and that's all that is, is friction. You know, you might be rubbing against a clit or something, but, you know, she might get some sensation out of that, but it's fit. It's that same thing, too, like, mm -hmm. I had sex with a lot less girls, like, when I got older, but I put it down a lot better when I got older. I don't know what it was with this, you know what I'm saying? 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 But, nah, it's well the chick, though. Like the one of the one other chick I, I smashed is like man. I was about to tell you about that the other time and just how her like what she told me kinda of about her her woman I'm praying, you know. But um yeah, but it was crazy, so never mind about that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it going. How that kinda hit the hit the you know what I'm saying, but um yeah, let's keep listening though, cause it's kinda um, it's a good it's a good video and let's say, you know, guy friend and all that, so what's up, so I'll be right back. Hold up.